Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, you are most welcome once again. This is Brother Jonah, and this YouTube channel is Brother Jonah TV. You are most welcome for those who are joining us for the very first time. You are warmly welcome, and I say to you, you are uh, in a very good place. You are in a good home. So today, we are going to talk about um, maids. We are going to talk about maids, especially those ones who are coming to Saudi Arabia. We are going to share basic information and guidelines uh, that will help you to stay for your contract and you come back either Kenya, Africa, Uganda or wherever when you are safe. One of the things that we miss to tell you guys is that when you are going to Saudi Arabia, you are going for the basic reason. Which reason is to work, ensure that you are safe and come back to your home, your family. So we are going to share a lot of things that will help you even when you are there or when you have come back to you. These basic things that we are going to share will help one or, or, of you or either a friend. And in fact, for this video, ensure to share it with the friends and also uh, those who are working as housemates uh, in other places because this will help you. So one of the things uh, I'm telling you is life is not easy and you are going there for a reason of only one thing that is work to get money to begin your uh, business or to lift up your capital and then you can build your house construct your plot do everything as you hope to do it so one of the things is that when you are going to Saudi Arabia as a maid you must know that you are going there for the contract of two years this contract of two years when you are staying in a, in a family or in a home, you must know that you are, are supposed to abide by the rules, regulations, policies that govern that home. In Arab countries, when you are there in somebody's home, you are supposed to adhere to all whatever kind of things that they will tell you to do. Okay? When you go there, a two years uh, stay in a family or in a home that means that you are supposed to become one of the family members in that particular home that means everything pertaining that family what they do what uh, uh, they eat you are also supposed to do it where they go you are supposed to go with them okay because you are, you are, you are one of the family members in that family anything that you are going to do beyond it or uh, say I don't want to do that means you are violating their rules in that family Okay, so when you are moving from your family that is your home country You should be knowing that you are shifting your mind to living in a certain family. Okay You are leaving all your characters all your behaviors from your home country to this uh, family Okay, you are leaving either political cultural or uh, psychological attitude that you have in your family. You are living it there in your country. So when you come to this family, you are supposed to become a new person. Okay? However, in terms of uh, religion, you can say, for me, I'm a Christian. I don't fellowship with you. Okay? Then you derive a mechanism on how you can worship your God. Are you getting the point? When you are worshiping your God, you are supposed to be free in your particular place okay but of course there are some families that can allow you to worship your god when they are seen okay aware you are where you are you are is a muslim country it's not a christian family maybe for those ones who have a chance to be in a christian family that's when you can worship together with them uh, in a in a way of uh, how christians fellowship god it? so in two years time when you are in that family. Number one, where they move, you are supposed to move with them. Be it you are keeping children, be it you are keeping an old person, be it you are just there as a domestic uh, worker for domestic purpose, maybe cleaning home, uh, houses, uh, washrooms, uh, clothes. Okay? So, where problems usually come, like our maids have reported always, is that they are given a lot of work. This work can be either you are given to wash, okay? You are given to mop, you are given to wipe mirrors, you are given to cook, you are given to do this, okay? 
So how you are going to manage is you do that work according to how you time table yourself. When you finish this work, tell them the next thing I'm going to do is this. By this time, I would have got tired and you be open to them and say, please, let me rest for a few seconds, a few hours, four hours. After resting, of course, you get back to work. Okay? So, in staying for two years, that time when you are staying from there is like you have sacrificed your time. You have given your time to that family because it is your work. Okay? There is no definition of being a housemaid. A housemaid only means you do domestic work in that family for a period of what? Of two years. After that period of two years, you are supposed to come to come back home for your vacation. Okay? One thing I've not told you is when you have signed a contract for two years, that means that family has hired you from the company that took you, uh, actually that received you from there in Saudi Arabia. I get it. So anything that you may say, I want to change or I want to leave this work, that means those people are going to incur a loss. Are we getting it? They are going to incur a loss. That's why sometimes some of them feel very, very bad to release you from that family and get back. I'm getting the point. So when you have signed a contract, you are going to accept uh, to complete those two years and then you change. Uh, either you can come back for a vacation or you can change a family. In other words, that is not guaranteed or it is not uh, something that is uh, um, that you cannot do. You can do it by consulting your company, which is there. But please, I'm not comfortable in this place. Can you change me to another place? That's when you can change. Are we together? And then two, there is limited freedom. You have limited freedom. Freedom of worship, like I said. If they are Muslims, that means every time they pray. Okay? So that time when they are praying, maybe you, you are doing some core works, core activities, domestic work. And you get it. So you have no time to also pray to God. Only if you're a Muslim also, that is when you can join them, be free with them, pray together. But if you're a Christian or other uh, denomination or religion, that you might find it uh, very difficult in conveniencing for you to worship your God. Are we together? And then the other thing is food. That is three. Food, when you are there, there in, 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 some, in some other homes, you are given a freedom to cook your own food. That is in some other families. In other families, you are not supposed to even touch a saucepan, a plate, or wash your uh, dishes, or something else. As you know, people define their families. Okay? So, if you are lucky enough, they are accepting you to cook your own food. That's when you can do it. Are we together? But if you are not lucky, that means you have to eat what they are cooking. If they have put uh, a lot of chili, you have to eat like that. Are we together? So, <coughs> uh, excuse me. You have to accept to add here, to adjust yourself to the minimum standards in that family so that you finish your basic two years. The other thing is uh, accommodation. Your accommodation is in such a way that the very house those people are living, that is where you are supposed to live. Either you, they are living in a good, uh, of course they have to be in a good place. They are living in their, uh, their mansion, their bedroom, sitting room. Maybe perhaps you are going to be in a corridor or you are going to be in a sitting room. That is how it is. You cannot go there and, and, uh, and assume you are supposed to sleep in a bedroom. No. That is how it is. So, you are given everything. You are given a, you are given a mattress, bed sheets, and everything. Of course, if you find it comfortable to be in the sitting room, that is good. Other families, they get for you your personal room. That's where you can be sleeping. Okay? So these are some uh, changes that you might see when you are in your home and when you are there in, uh, in a family. Are we together? 
And then this one is <coughs> the salary. The salary is paid to you according to how they want uh, that money to be related to your account. It can be they are paying you through uh, uh, to the bank or they can give you your personal money depending on how you want. If you want to be given to you, that is good. If you want them to pay to your people back in the country, that is also good. That is how they pay their salary. Sometimes they can pay three months advance or sometimes one, uh, one after the other month. Are we getting? So you must accept with them and agree with them how you want your money to be paid to you. Are we together? <coughs> uh, then lastly, I want to talk about vacation. Vacation, like I said, you are given vacation after a period of two years. Beyond that, that means those people have violated uh, the contract. Because your contract when you are signing, you sign and you know you are going to finish two years. After two years, you get, you get back home for vacation. Okay? Depending on how you want. If you see the family is good, you are in a good working condition. That means you can add, either you can make um, two years, three years, four years, whichever amount, whichever period of time you want to take. That is when you know your conditions of work are in a good uh, or you are in a good condition of work. Are we together? <clears throat> and then uh, this one is uh, uh, this one is now general staying at home. These people when you are in an Arab home they are not allowing you to move outside to check on your friends no that's not the case or even inviting your colleagues to come and see you it is limited that is according to uh, their culture okay there are some who can allow you to host your friends fellow ugandans fellow kenyans fellow africans that is when they have agreed you to do so but if they have not agreed you to do so please don't risk to do it okay don't try to do it because their culture does not allow such a thing. A foreign person to be invited again, another person to the family, are we together? And then the other thing is, <clears throat> some people have been complaining, of course, of this natural um, a feeling of sex. Are we together? That's where the problem also is. When you are there, you cannot invite your boyfriend. If you have a boyfriend, you can't invite him to that particular home. Okay? You are not free to go and meet him anywhere. So when you are there for two years, you must accept that you are supposed to finish it when you are second uh, virgin. Are we together? So you have to accept. You have to undergo all that uh, period of time and then you come back home. Are we together? Some people are saying, oh, uh, for me, I can't finish one year, can't finish two years when I've not had sex. Are we together? So please try your best and safeguard your life. I want to say thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are a new person here in this video, please consider to subscribe and also share this video. Thank you so much. Meeting you in the second video.